Knives are cool. And axes too. Hello everybody, Robert Breaker here again, and I have an interesting little knife for you. Never ceases to amaze me how people will take a knife and a sheath and change it in such a way that it's, well, it's the way they did it. And it's very individual, it's very connected to them. I wouldn't have thought to make this this way. But this is a knife that I got uh, a while back. Here in Florida where we live, it's very poor. Uh, we live close to Pensacola, Florida. And we have a little joke that if an atom bomb went off in Pensacola, it'd do about $10 worth of damage <laughs> because it's so old and so poor. And we have several trading posts around, places where you can go and rather than use money, you can just trade something. A lot of times I'll go to garage sale and find something and then take that and trade up. I'll trade it for something worth more and then trade that for something worth more. And uh, as our economy continues to get worse and worse, that might be the way of the future. So people ask me all the time, why well, you got so many knives? Well, they're, they're trading items. They're actually something that I can change into something else that I might need. But we have a place here in Pensacola and it recently closed down and I was so bummed. It was a trading post called Trader Dan's. And I went into Trader Dan's one day and he had this. And it was so different it's so odd and strange to me it was almost like a curiosity and I said I I gotta have that how much and he told me and I was like really that cheap it's a pretty high-end knife I think but someone has done something quite interesting to it and let me show you the knife first then I'll show you the sheath so this is a blackjack black Moore 2000 knife edge designed by it doesn't say it just says st. Louis Missouri and it feels good. It's very flat handle, but it's weighted. See how I'm on my finger there? And it's kind of weighted in the middle. And this is a really cool knife, very sharp. And it's double-edged, double, double edged, but one edge doesn't come back as far as the other. And the top edge is not sharp, maybe just a little bit toward the tip. We have a little bit of sharpness, but then it dulls out on the top. So I guess you could say it's just one, one edge, but it can be two edges very easily. And uh, see if you can zoom in on that and read what that says there. Blackjack Blackmore 2000. Anyone ever heard of a blackjack knife? I'm, I've looked a little bit and found some. But this thing came in this uh, plastic sheath. And it is obvious to me that whoever owned it before, they cut. Because you can see the cut here. They cut both sides of the sheath for some reason. And then when they did that, they said, hey, you know, it, it's, it sticks in real well. It doesn't come out, but it could come out. And they said, boy, I need, to, I need to figure out a way to keep this from coming out. So they looked at the hole here, and I don't know if they drilled a hole here or if that was already there, and they put a metal rod. And when you put this thing in, that actually goes in and claps. And so the rod is through the knife. Can you see that there? And actually holds the whole thing in. So it's just amazing to me how people can can do something to make it probably not the way the original design was maybe that was the original design but i doubt they would have used copper but it it's amazing to me how someone said you know what i want to do is i'm going to put that in there and put it through here to secure it so it's not coming out even though it's not clasp it's not coming out it's double secure once it's clasped but you take that clasp off you still have to pull it out and then pull the knife out so i thought that was really interesting I don't know why they did that, and I don't know how expensive of a knife this is. All I know is I've never seen a knife like this before, that brand, Blackjack, and I've never seen anyone do that to a knife to where they actually went through the handle to secure it to the uh, sheath. So I thought I'd share that with you, just give you some ideas. There's all sorts of things that you can do, and uh, especially as we're getting toward the zombie apocalypse, perhaps. Uh, you might need to come up with some things like that because they, this might be the only knife you can find and you've got to make sure it doesn't fall out so you can make a little secure thing on there like this person did. So I don't know what to do with this knife. It's not something that I care much about. I just find it fascinating how men can do things like that. And, uh, you know, something I would have never thought of. Someone said, I'm going to do this. But that's a cool knife. I'm going to let you look at it and take a picture of it. I hope it doesn't break off on the end. It looks pretty steady. I can't tell what kind of steel it is, but it is a very nice knife. And it's pretty heavy for its size. 
and very sharp, very sharp. So come on in, look on it, and uh, see what you think. And there's that little bar there, how it goes in. Show you up close. It's gonna go into this hole, lines up perfectly. And once you put it in to that hole, then you put it in. That knife's going nowhere. Even if it somehow comes unclasped, like right there, it's still not going anywhere. You've gotta pull a long way straight up for it to come out. So what do you think? Leave in the comments what you think, like, subscribe, all that stuff, and let me know what you think about this. And have you ever heard of that brand before of Blackjack? What do you think? Knives are cool and axes too.